Kang Yun Jin, attending the Graduate School of Dongye University. I am in charge of the presentation on a comparative study on decentralized storage platform. Here is the order about what I am going to presentation to you. Many people use centralized storage, such as Dropbox and Google. Centralized storage manage people's data on the centralized server. The first, if the server fails, it can be temporarily penalized or it lets lose data. Second, centralized server can also provide data to third party without the permission of the data owner. Third, users who are far away from the server's location may experience slow data transfer speed. Third, the amount of storage in centralized storage is limit cost cost is increasing. Decentralized storage is developed to compensate for the demerit of centralized storage. Decentralized storage is distributed data across the network to prevent centralized server from managing it. When you unload a file, it is split into bits and then is distributed to each node in the network. Decentralized storage must meet the following condition. The first, data must be distributed and stored across multiple nodes that participate in the network. Second, make sure that the centralized server does not manage the data. So, user, users should always have access to their data. Or, it has to be cheaper than centralized storage. But, I thought there might be a downside to decentralized storage. Due to the characteristic of decentralized storage, which store and distribute data, malicious user can suffer damage from storing malicious virus data. For this reason, I researched the type of decentralized storage platforms this time. The first is IPFS. IPFS is a protocol developed by Protocol Lab for the decentralized web. Unlike traditional HTTP protocol, IPFS use content-based addressing technology. When you upload a file, you get the hash value for, for that file. This value is unique to the file. The location-based address, which is used by existing HTTP, finds the file after it is moved to the location address of the file. And if the file does not exist in that location, the file cannot be found. Content-based address uses the file unique value to refer to the distributed hash table to node. Which node has the file? It is more efficient and safe than location-based address. Next use 
Bucker, Bucker GH Technology to ensure data integrity. The uploaded files are linked together as shown in the picture to form a tree. Due to the Bucker tree attribute, attribute you cannot change or delete, delete data because the value of the root node change uh, when one file is changing. Next is Filecoin. Filecoin is a blockchain-based decentralized storage platform. Filecoin was developed in protocol labs such as IPFS. Filecoin used blockchain technology unlike IPFS. Node must provide their one repository to ensure that the decentralized network operates smoothly. Provide Filecoin token as a compensation system to encourage those to participate voluntarily. <laughs> Next is the structure of the compensation system. First, the storage provides that participate in the network provides the storage. Second, a node that participates in a network store a piece of files in that repository. Third, the storage provider will receive as much cost as the storage is used by user to participate in the network. Next is Shia Coin. Shia Coin contract for file between the storage provider and the user. The file contract creates contract information for variable use and penalties for branch of contract. File contracts are stored in the Shia blockchain and stored securely. Next is the file unlock sequence. First, the user store the file contract proposal in a blockchain. Storage provider accepts the file content and forward the deposit. The user then adopts a storage provide to store and pay for it. Finally, transfer the file to the storage provider to save it. Next is the storage prop by Shia. The storage provide props and it is saving the file and is rewarded when validated. Verification is repeated at certain time. Next is Storage, a decentralized storage platform based on Ethereum blockchain. Storage is decentralized storage, a centralized server exists. This is called bridge server. First, split the encrypted files. Then, before you can distribute and save it, request the bridge server to save it. Bridge server select a provide to store. When a request is granted, the files are distributed and stored. The bridge server stores only the communication content. 
After they use the read Solomon erasure code file is split using. The read Solomon technology his or file are at risk of lose. But read Solomon technology allows you to restore the original file to some pieces. Next is Deo FS. NeoFS use the network map to place and store files statically. Each node has a property and each a multi-dimensional thread where the nodes are proved according to the attributes. Nodes have properties such as location, storage capacity, and so on. The talk maps allow you to find a repository that can automatically save files. Unlike other platforms, the OFS use homomorphic cryptography technology. Homomorphic cryptography is an encryption technology that can be calculated plate while being encrypted. If you decode a value that is calculated while it is encrypted, it is the same as the value calculated from the existing data. This allows you to storage proof without having to decrypt your data. Next is the SAFE network. SAFE use self-encryption technology. Self-encryption is a method of encrypting using different pieces of the same file. The hash value is another piece will act as the key. Finally, the conclusion. Here is a comparison of the decentralized storage platforms. Blockchain was divided into the platform on which it was was used and the platform on which it was not used. In the platform on which blockchain was used, a set and transaction were basically stored in the blockchain. Additional contract and attestation result Research was saved according to the platform. Data integrity verification method are typically virtually method. Other proof algorithm or homomorphic caching encryption method include asymmetric encryption, homomorphic encryption, and self encryption. Until now, we've identified the types of decentralized storage platforms. Based on this, I will research the risk of spreading malicious virus using the decentralized store storage platform. Thank you.